Hi there, Renee Asse of Lowell, Massachusetts, Cult of the Anti-Rogue, Elon Musk and his flying monkeys. So it's been over a year since I left Twitter and I left with so much wrath and anger, by the way. I was just like, what is going on here? And my anger towards particular individuals was um, reasonable in the sense that I had every right to be angry with their behavior. But unfortunately, I had so much wrath so much wrath in me. I made, I said things, unfortunately, and I made videos that were just not in the proper context of my frustrations, and I deleted them all. So I just want to make that aware. Like, you know, like, you can be really angry at somebody and misstep and become very quite wrathful, and I've never become like that before, until then. So, <laughs> Elon Musk. I mean, yeah, I mean, the richest man in the world took over a social media platform to control a narrative of his taking. And he has a little flying monkey of social media mobs. He riles people up by like using far right, far right accounts. That's just mere propaganda. They don't care about public policy. They do not care about the people. They're just there to rile you up guys. And some of you take the bait. And so, <laughs> This is like the scary. It's scary in the sense that like Elon Musk is like, I'm gonna give Donald Trump $45 million. Like what is like Donald Trump like Elon's little B-I-T-C-H now? Donald Trump isn't Donald Trump anymore, right? I mean, I never, people question me. It's like, how come you never trusted Donald Trump? And I tried, I tried to, but like Donald Trump was buddy buddy with the Clintons. They played golf together. The Clintons attended Melania's and Donald Trump's wedding. And all of a sudden, like, it's initially I thought like Donald Trump was trying to help Hillary Clinton. Um, but the thing about Elon Musk is deeply concerned. Um, you know, like just the way he thinks about like, I want to have as many babies as possible, but he doesn't care about what, if he even has a relationship with the mother of that children. You know, it's like there's no love, there's no unitiveness as family. He just thinks that he's so amazing and so great that he treats women like incubators, right? <laughs> and that these children do not need their mother's love. All they need is the presence of Elon Musk. And you wonder why, like, his oldest child completely disowned him. They didn't want, like, his name. I mean, yeah, like... <laughs> Elon Musk, you know, it's like he can't accept that his child wants to identify as trans. Like, it's a tough go for lots of parents, by the way, right? But what you do as a parent matters. You know, like I know one family who has like a kid that's now identifying as trans. But you know what? They keep that child for close. They still make that child do the chores. They still make their child, you know, like respect their grandparents, <laughs> But it's kind of like, okay, that we're going to figure this out. But no, he just he just gets really mad. I mean, you know, I'm talking about my own wrath. Think about Elon Musk. He's nothing but wrath. He's nothing but bitterness. He's nothing but anger. There's no love. There's no joy with Elon Musk. It's all about him, his power, control, and wrath. That man is scary when you think about it, right? He's nothing but wrath. And nobody really likes him. I know everyone under 30 pretty much thinks he's a loser, by the way. Nobody grows up wanting to be like Elon Musk. But he has there his loyal flying monkeys. His loyal fly, flying monkeys. And I was actually mutuals with a few of them, by the way. That's kind of weird. Um, but I had everything on mute. So I really couldn't figure out things because I was muting words, not accounts. Like, well, if I don't like that, I'm just going to mute it. So I had no idea who, who was really a flying monkey and not. And some people are just Elon Musk little bitches. That's what they are. I'm sorry for my profanity. But I love you all.